Here I am stuck out at the warehouse waiting for a truck to pick up some solar panels. So got solar panels all around. But I wanted to go through real quick um, how, are, how we would use these products that we just got in, these little MC4Ys. I realize you probably already know what these are if you're into solar panels at all. But basically, if you need to be able to parallel a couple of panels because you can't go in series, a lot of times that's when you've got a PWM charge controller instead of an MPPT. But sometimes with these higher voltage panels, even one panel gets you really close to that limit. And in our case, this 60 amp Palmister charge controller, when you're running a 12 volt battery like we are, the maximum open circuit voltage for your panels going into here is gonna be 80 volts. And our solar panels are 49 volts open circuit. So you could really only run one of these in series. So we need to be able to run in parallel because you can do 60 amps. One of these panels is about 35 amps. So with two of them it over panels just a tad and the charge controller will limit that, but you need a way to parallel. So one way to parallel would be to go ahead and run dedicated wires all the way back. You can see here that there is a there are two PV pluses and two PV minuses for 10 gauge wire max. So what we've done is we've run 10 gauge wire and for our length, for our, our, our length of run here on our test setup, 10 gauge is fine for probably up to 25 to 30 amps. And each of these panels is 10 amps, which means we could run little guys like these, combine the panels on the roof, wherever your solar panels are at and only run a pair of wires back to the charge controller instead of having to run dedicated runs all the way back. Now, if your length between the panels and the charge controllers is too long, it might be worth it just to go ahead and run four 10 gauge wires all the way back because you're gonna have to up your 10 gauge to something and then you're gonna have to take it back down to double 10 once you get to the charge controller because it can only do 10 gauge into it. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick what this looks like. So here we've got our negative end of the panel and that comes into this end of the MC4Y. And then over here, you've got the negative end of our other panel coming into the same. So you basically end up with the same 49 volts, but double the amperage. That's what you call, call running in parallel. And then the same thing over here, right? You've got a positive there and a positive here, running to this positive wire all the way back to our charge controller. And it's showing 239 watts right now, but if we go ahead and put a load in the battery real quick, these things, uh, they're pretty worn out batteries, so they, they, they top off really quick. We can see that we're getting 650 watts in our afternoon sun, and it quickly drops off because we hit that uh, 14 volt and it goes into float mode. Just wanted to give a quick update on that. We do have these available, so if you wanna grab a couple panels, charge controller, and some of these adapters, we've even got the 10 gauge wire, we can give you the whole setup. Hope that helped a little bit, and see you guys on the flip side.